You meet these people. I have no interest in sex. It's not like I just tried it once and went, ew, I gave it a good try. <laughs> they're asexual and they're fine with it. Slow version? I really don't like that word. These couples swear they're madly in love. You experience zero sexual attraction? No. I simply don't have the interest. Are they missing out or have they discovered the true meaning of love? Because they lead sexless lives and they love it. There are a group of people with no interest in sex at all. Look around the asexual community. There's all kinds of intense emotional connections that are happening all over the place. Someone to share your life with, someone to do things with. And I just felt that that's what I had to do. I had to have sex in order to have those other things that I wanted. I didn't want to have sex necessarily, but I wanted the closeness. And so it was a trade-off. We do have absolutely have a romantic relationship. It's really not so different. We just don't have sex. I have no interest in sex. It's not like I just tried it once and went, ew, you know. Um, I gave it quite a, I gave it a good try. <laughs> How many, how many people in the audience have had a close, intimate relationship with somebody that doesn't involve sexuality? Can we get more hands? A close, intimate relationship with someone that didn't involve sexuality. So why, why are relationships that involve this one activity so fundamentally different than relationships that don't? That's, that's the question I want to I pose to you. Because if they're not different, then I'm not really going through anything different than what sexual people are going through say that they're just like any other romantic couple except for one thing. They don't have sex. Now take a look at this. I identified myself as asexual as soon as I found out that there was such a thing, which was only a little more than a year ago. It's something that I've always felt. I just didn't know that there was a word for it. People have a hard time understanding what it means to not be sexually attracted to anybody, but I don't think it's really that difficult because you know, all of us have some group of people we're not sexually attracted to, so if you just kind of expand that to imagine it's everybody, then that's pretty much it. I met Winter, and things just kind of developed from there. There was no intention for us to date. It was just a friendly, you know, We do have, absolutely have a romantic relationship, or there's no other, nothing else to call it, really. We find it amusing a lot that people have a hard time seeing the difference between, say, my relationship with Winter and my other friendships. It's as basic as, you know, the fact that we fell in love. That's what makes it different. It's really not so different we just don't have sex we do you know hold hands hug kiss all of the things for us are just ways of being close and being affectionate i don't really feel any arousal um as a result of being around paul so there's a lot more to life besides just sex if a doctor offered me a pill to make me a sexual person i wouldn't take it because I'm comfortable enough as I am and I'm happy enough as I am. I don't see the point in changing something. When did you first identify yourself or understand that you were, and I'm, I keep saying, asexual? Um, I first started calling myself asexual when I was 16, but um, at the time I didn't realize that that was actually a legitimate orientation, so it was really more of a joke. I didn't date, I wasn't interested in dating. And I wasn't really interested in sex. It just kind of remained a curiosity. But it wasn't until I was 19 that I found Avon and I found out that there were a lot more people like me. And Paul, how about yourself? Same thing? Uh, pretty similar. Yeah. I, I didn't use the term asexual until I found the, the website in the community a little more than a year ago. But, you know, I, it's just kind of, I've always felt this way and everyone, it was everyone around me who changed and uh, I became increasingly, uh, um, confused about that but my friends didn't really see it as a problem and it was just kind of known that I was that way. If you don't feel like there's anything wrong it's not a problem. If it's only worth going to a doctor, going to a psychiatrist, you know, seeking help for it if you're really concerned why you feel this way. We're perfectly happy as we are. We understand who we are and that's really more important than anything else. It's just understanding why you feel that way. I, I also think that it, it's used the example of somebody who has a you know, problem with the pituitary gland or something causing a low libido. And there are a lot of, that's not a hypothetical thing, there are plenty of people who have that problem. And from what I hear, most of those people still experience sexual attraction. But you experience zero sexual attraction? No. Mm -hmm. None. So then if no sexual attraction, then the two of you are a couple. Yes, we are. So what is the attraction that you have? Well, I think you have to look at it this way. For every relationship you have, you have your romantic relationships and you have your platonic relationships. Now, maybe sex for a lot of people is that huge component to what that differentiates the two. Mm -hmm. But 
if you remove sex from the equation, you're still inherently going to feel differently about somebody that you're romantically attracted to. So you two are in love. Yes. Yeah. You would say that you're in love. Absolutely. You will get married one day, possibly. Quite possibly. Could happen. And would you have children one day? Well, I know we're both fans of adoption. Yeah. So I think that's yeah, we really, both feel adoption is a good option for many people. It's, you know, that so idea. You, wouldn't, you wouldn't think, come on, you got married, you wouldn't say, eh, let's just do it once and get a baby. Well, you know, it's really, if family is ultimately what you're looking for, it doesn't really matter how that child comes into your life. There are many different options for that. Absolutely right. I'd say the same is true with me, too. So adoption could be your option? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm planning on. Let me take